you go to write some code to programmatically interact with the SushiSwap pair. And then you realize there's no good website for finding addresses for SushiSwap pairs. While Uniswap V2 has this great site for looking up V2 pairs, SushiSwap, not so much. In this video, I'll show you how to get pair addresses programmatically for SushiSwap and Uniswap V2. A pair is a V2 name for a V3 pool, which I'll keep accidentally calling a pool because I've spent way too much time with Uniswap V3. I'm Blockman, and I get Web3 developers up to speed on Uniswap fast. If you want to level up your Web3 skills, download my free Ethers.js cheat sheet in the description below. Now let's write some code. Start by importing Ethers, and we're using Ethers 6 here. Then import the factory artifact. Don't worry, I'll give this to you in the description. And we can use this artifact for both SushiSwap and Uniswap v2 because SushiSwap was originally a clone of Uniswap v2, so they used the same contract for their factory. But that does not mean they use the same factory. They each have a factory deployed to different addresses. Now let's initialize our Ethers provider. You'll need to put in your own and for a URL here, or whatever other node service you're using. And this is the syntax for Ether6. Previous versions are slightly different when initializing a provider. Now we need to get a few addresses. We'll need the SushiSwap factory address. We'll need the Uniswap v2 factory address. I'm going to get pairs on each platform for USDC and Wrapped Ether, but you can use whatever tokens you like. Let's initialize those factory contracts. First, Sushi. Should have been an equals up here. Now uni. And let's start our main function. Call get pair on the sushi factory. Do the same thing for the Uniswap factory. Let's log those. And call that function. Now let's run this on the console. And these are the addresses of the pairs on SushiSwap and Uniswap v2. Let me know what else you want to learn in Web3, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I will see you next time.